In Burgundy, it's not just the grapes that are famous. The region's other star fruit is blackcurrant. A whole market has emerged based on the cultivation of this small berry. Today, the precious black fruit is transformed in many ways. Its best known use in France is in the production of the famous liqueur, Crème de Cassis. Liqueur makers produce 16 million bottles every year, with an annual turnover of 60 million euros. A handful of companies share the market in Burgundy. It's in this factory in Dijon that the brand L'Héritier Guyot makes its precious crème de cassis. Every year, the company uses more than a thousand tons of the little black fruit. How many tons do we have today? 15? With another 19 on the way. So we'll be doing 25, 30 tons today. While the French market accounts for the majority of its sales, L'Héritier Guyot has created a new recipe especially for the German market. So for Germany, that was made last week, right? Yes, last week. And bottling will be next week, about 20,000 of them. The liqueur makers of Burgundy export a total of 6 million bottles a year abroad. The international growth of a brand naturally depends on exports. They give us the possibility of growing not only Dijon crème de cassis, but also other crème. Now we mainly export to the UK, the United States and Asia. The city of Dijon proudly displays the black current color in its streets, but it also has a museum where tourists from across the globe can discover the region's specialty. Every year, the museum guides reveal the secrets of the traditional liqueur to almost 40,000 visitors. Black current liqueur, you have only black current, alcohol, and then sugar. There's absolutely nothing else in the bottle. For this group of young Canadians, more used to maple syrup than creme de cassis, the discovery can be surprising. You can get a glass each. You can taste it. I haven't had it there before, but yeah, when I go back, I'll probably see if I can get one of these and have it when I come home. And I think it's, yeah, it's rather enjoyable. I feel like you could put the regular liqueur over some vanilla ice cream, and that would be very <laughs> yeah. good. But this, just to drink, is very good. a deserved success for a product which has become one of the flagships of the region's heritage. It all started in the early 20th century, when the liqueur makers of Dijon developed production. Then it was a clergyman and deputy mayor of Dijon, Canon Felix Kier, who gave his name to an aperitif of white wine and creme de cassis. And from then on, the market took off. The rest of France and the world didn't drink here, but the Canon's drink's reputation gradually grew, and now it's drunk pretty much everywhere. These days, only the people of Dijon commemorate Canon Kier, even though his name is known all over the world. 30 kilometers south of Dijon, the organic farm Fruits Rouge transforms black currants in another way. There's no alcohol here, but jams and a few other surprising products. These copper pots contain the ingredients for blackcurrant ketchup. It was a big turning point for Fruits Rouge Farm, because after we first produced it in 2005, sales immediately took off. I thought I'd make 300 jars just for fun, but we're now making thousands of them every year. A small part of their blackcurrant harvest is sold, notably to top restaurants. In the town of Saulieu, this Michelin-starred restaurant uses the deep flavor of the dark berries in all kinds of ways. One of the chef's dishes is this duck breast with black currant bud jelly. I serve it with a Jerusalem artichoke mash, 
Of course, we mainly use blackcurrants for desserts, sorbets and ice creams. But also for savoury dishes, because the flavour of the fruit goes extremely well with poultry and even beef. And the diners also give a thumbs up to this subtle combination. Hold on a second. It's really good. I know blackcurrant from drinking kia, but used in cuisine like this, it's different. Food and beverages isn't the only sector to have adopted the blackcurrant. The plant's buds are now being increasingly used in the cosmetics and pharmaceutical industries. So it looks like the burgundy blackcurrant has a very bright future.